Welcome to Chris Cook Photography, a video today on how to make shooting the Milky Way more interesting. If you ever go out to shoot the Milky Way but you've been out quite a lot you'll probably find that you struggle for new ideas because you've you've been to so many locations multiple times and you've shot behind that castle or that boat or that tall building um, and yeah you just want to, to do something to freshen it up so what I sometimes do is I use a lens ball. I won't do any clever spinning round with it because I'll probably smash it. But basically, um, what you do is you'll place this about a metre in front of the camera at the direction of the Milky Way, and then you'll focus on this with a wide aperture so that you get like bokeh stars, and then the Milky Way actually ends up in the uh, lens ball. So, um, yeah, let's get this uh, video started and I'll show you some samples and settings. Hello, so I have a few lens ball um, pictures here, um, they're not all the Milky Way but um, I'll give you a quick rundown anyway. So this first one was taken at Bodium Castle, we was doing some Milky Way behind the castle which we've done a few times and just before we left I was thinking well, what can I do to make it a bit more unique and um, I had the ball on me so I stuck it on the fence and yeah just aimed it roughly at the Milky Way, got in close with the camera and um, yeah, shot with a shallow depth of field to give it that nice dreamy starry background and the Milky Way inside the ball. Um, similar for this second one here with the yellow, this was done just along from St Margaret's Bay near Dover, just on the coast, it was right by the sea. Um, this third one you'd probably recognize it's the London Eye in London <laughs> um, this was a last minute shot as well really been out shooting and doing some light trails all night and um, I thought I'd give it a go and I was really pleased with that one actually especially the way the pink come out and the um, perfect circle bokeh this blue one here we went out light painting in the park one night um, I think actually he was going out to get some astro but it clouded over so we started playing around with a torch and I uh, just stuck the ball on the uh, wall and, and started waving a torch around behind it really so that was the final effect so um, I'll just go through the settings on each one so if we go into this one here so you can just see it a bit closer usually the uh, well not usually when you use a lens ball it actually mirrors the uh, background so this was actually upside down but I took a little bit of uh, liberties with Photoshop and rotated it because I just think it's more visually pleasing so if we go to the information on this one it was shot with my 35 uh, millimeter Tamron uh, f 2.2 and was a 30 second exposure they say to um, obviously if you want everything in focus and you're shooting the Milky Way like usual then you usually would shoot up to about 20 seconds on the wide angle lens but because we're going for the bokeh effect and any normal small sharp stars will be inside the ball it wouldn't notice so we um so i exposed a bit longer for that one um let's have a look at the next one this one here i think was also my 35 yep f2 20 seconds there I could have probably exposed a bit longer just to bring that bokeh out a little bit more but as you, if you look closely you can actually see the Milky Way clearly in this one. Um, I'm actually going to do a time lapse like this soon with the Milky Way rotating inside the lens ball so I'm quite looking forward to that. It might be the next couple of weeks depending on the uh, weather so um, yeah if you want to subscribe and check back I'll definitely be doing it very soon. And what else have we got here? Well, if we go back, so this one wasn't a long exposure really, was it? It was a tenth of a second at f1.4 on my 35mm again. Um, yeah, just on the wall by the River Thames. And this one, I've just shown you. 
go back again, sorry. This one, the light painting one. This was 10 seconds because we needed to allow for the movement of the torch where we was waving it around in the air. Um, F 5.6, so it wasn't really required to be wide open for this one because we're just playing with light. And yeah, we're not looking for too much bokeh. And yeah, my 35 millimeter again, I'm going to do this in my 85 millimeter f1.4 Nikkor lens for the time lapse, just to get in close on the um, stars and make that Milky Way a bit tighter, so you can see more of the lit, more of it in the lens ball, um, as I mentioned a minute ago. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video. It's a bit short and sweet. Um, it's one of those days where I really want to just get the info out there that I was thinking of, uh, a bit off the cuff really. Not the highest production values, but um, I will be going to town soon with some nice background lighting and what have you. But um, I've been quite busy with my print business lately. So I've got it in my head to make a video a day, but I've not made one for a week. So I'm feeling a bit guilty. But anyway, yeah, I'll drop a couple of links on the screen. And like I said before, if you can subscribe and um, you will see my uh, Milky Way lens ball time lapse pop up very soon. All the best.